up my love welcome back to my channel my name is Maya if this is your very first time here so today guys we are just going to be doing Erin on the go makeup this is pretty much the makeup that I do when I am on the go I'm about to go do some errands I'm running around for the day this is pretty much the vibe that I go for it's a little more extravagant than most people's go to makeup so a disclaimer there <laughs> we also are in front of my window again today so that you can see the skin and natural lighting I actually just turned off the light so this is how we are looking in a natural light. Thank you to CL Share for sponsoring today's video and let's hop right into it. Before we do, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right loves, let's get into this on the go. All right, so you guys really enjoyed the last time that we did a video like this um, where we, that ball trying to get in my house? Ew. You guys really enjoyed <laughs> the last time that we did a video like this where it was more natural lighting. So I figured I wanted to do that today. I'm really just doing my makeup, y'all, to go run some errands today. It's Saturday. <laughs> Hold up, real quick. I am about to put this oil on. It's from Truly. Because I just used their um, body lotion, too. I've been using this for my hands when I'm filming. And this is their Blueberry Kush body lotion. It has CBD in it. And this is the face oil as well. And I actually have really been loving this oil. Just, you know, with Amira being gone and you know, I've just kind of been going, going, going every day. Like, you know, out doing stuff, cause I can. <laughs> and I've kind of developed this little routine of how I've been doing my makeup, you know, nothing too, too heavy. And I, yeah, I'm looking at this bug, it's huge trying to get in my house. Let's look, it's at the window. Oh God, if that got in here, I would die. But yeah, I really just wanted to show you guys exactly how I've been doing my face and I've just been on the run. Um, so I figured I'd just sit down and just do my makeup with you guys. It's kind of an everyday makeup, but it's also just kind of like a really quick like look that I do. This is gonna be very realistic of how I do my makeup when I'm just got somewhere to go, but I wanna look like some. That's what this is. We are gonna start with the brows and I'm going into my Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. And I actually just picked this up at Sephora um, last weekend. And y'all, I love this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and laminate our brows and then I'm going to fill them in with a brow pomade. And this is the LA Girl Brow Pomade. And this is in soft black, but I have been doing more of a natural brow on an everyday basis or especially when I'm just like out running errands. The natural brow has been making several points. You guys know that I have been having a lot of free time lately. So I have been diving into my Skillshare classes and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. But if you do not know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes that are for creators or just lifelong learners, just to help them to explore new skills and kind of deepen their passions that they already have as well. You can find so many classes on so many topics on Skillshare. Skillshare offers classes on entrepreneurship, social media, art and crafts, just all types of different things. The platform itself is specifically made for learning, so there are no ads, and they're always dropping new premium classes so that you can discover new classes and new things. So, an annual membership to Skillshare is extremely, extremely affordable, and a class that I have been having my eye on recently it's called Finding Fulfillment, Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career. We all know I have a creative career. <laughs> that class is taught by Emma Gannon, and it is one that I kinda wanna get into. I've taken multiple Skillshare courses, and I would love to take that one soon. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to hit the link in the description box and in the first comment will get a free trial of the Skillshare membership, so make sure you guys click the link below. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, y'all, so that we can really get into these brows, baby. Cause the brows are giving and sometimes the brows really is what makes the face. And that's why, honestly, you're gonna notice this in a minute. This is what I spend the most time doing is my brows. So I feel like it just really makes or break my entire face. And if you're curious, this brush that I'm using is from Bare Minerals. This is the Expert Shadow and Liner brush. So, and I'm actually using the liner side to kind of create these brow hairs in my brows. And the reason that I love using a pomade with this Anastasia brow gel, y'all, is because that formula honestly does not do well with like 
a pencil or any, well, any of the pencils I've been using when I've been using that gel. It just doesn't. So a pomade, honestly, for me, has been so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt this out with my Tanti Doll concealer and the brows are done. So even though this is a natural brow situation, I do still kind of go over the top of my brows as well. And I've also been going in between the Tanti Doll concealer and my NARS Soft Matte concealer, which y'all know I always use to sculpt out my brows. And before I keep going, y'all, if you watch my vlogs, which y'all, if y'all want an end, an end to my life or how I be feeling and what's been going, what be going on during the times that I'm filming these videos, watch my vlogs. <laughs> Because if you did watch Sunday's vlog, then you know that um, I'm having a little bit of an emotional day today. And I'm just not feeling, I don't know. I'm a little in my in my emotions, in my feelings today. So, oh y'all, the brows is given. If you watch the vlog, you know I took a walk this morning just to kind of like zone in and get myself together, kind of listen to the Lord and what, what he's trying to tell me about my life right now. Cause things are just, I just feel a shift in my atmosphere. Um, I kind of had a, an emotional breakdown last night. <laughs> Girl, um, I just like to keep it, keep it real with y'all. That's kind of the vibe that I have right now. So if I seem a little low energy, that's what's going on, but I'm trying not to have low energy. Just don't mind me, girl, I'm trying. So I have been loving this um, Tanti doll to wear all over concealer y'all y'all know that i did do a video on this last week but sis let me tell you something i freaking love this concealer and it, it has become a staple in my routine the shade that i use as my skin tone shade is 495 suede warm so i'll put it on my lids and then i'll just blend it out things are gonna move a little faster after them brows y'all <laughs> i'm doing that and then i'm going to just set that concealer and i'm going to set it with my minted setting powder and this is in medium deep and actually before i set that i'm actually going to put some glue on my lashes typically i will put glue on my lashes when i know i'm about to put them on in about a minute or two just so it allows the glue to get tacky and then i also save time you know so i like to put my glue on my lashes while I have something else to do. Um, I have that nice and blended out. I'm gonna take some of this powder and dab it on my hand and just put a light veil of powder over my eyes. And I'm really just creating an even skin tone on my eyes, whereas before they were a little darker. So essentially that's all, that's all we did. You know, and that's it. Sometimes, depending on what my day is looking like, if I'm actually meeting up with the girls, if I'm doing something for real, for real, I will go in and add a little bit of my bronzer on my eyes, or I will add like a dark brown shade, but just like right on the corners of the eyes, just to kind of like smoke it out a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do today. But some days, let it be known, most days, I don't do nothing. I just do what I just did with the concealer and that's it. So I am using my Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar. And I'm using this brown color up at the top. And I'm just using this on the edges of my eye, y'all, with this little pencil brush. And this brush is a Morphe M508. And this really is to just add just a little smokiness, brown smokiness to my lash line. Mascaras I've been reaching for is either my Milk Kush Mascara or my Magic Extensions Mascara from MAC. Either way, it really doesn't matter until I get to my bottom lash line since I'm always covering up my... <laughs> top lashes, but I obviously do put it on to prep for my falsies. And the falsies that I've been wearing on a regular basis right now are, oh, come on, Maya. But yeah, the lashes that I have been using are from Lily Lashes, and these are in uh, NYC, I believe. They're like shorter on the inside, then they like flare out to longer on the outside, and these have been my go-to, especially just this week, honestly. And another reason that I love doing the mascara underneath is because you really can either take some tweezers or anything to like push your lashes up against these false lashes. And that mascara makes them stick at the bottom. That way you don't see a gap in between your lashes and the falsies. And they kind of just mesh and kind of glue themselves to the bottom of the lashes. All right, y'all, those are the eyes. That is about it. That's about it. So um, I'm going ahead and hop into my face. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the Tanti Doll 
concealer y'all you have no idea how much i love this concealer first of all maya put on some primer <laughs> so i'm actually going to use my plump and prime this is from Too faced i'm either going for this one my milk or um i'll throw on my laura mercier one which is an spf so of course you know i really really love that one because it protects the skin but i do have an spf on from my moisturizer today so i don't necessarily have to use that now i'm gonna go ahead into this concealer y'all and i will just put a little bit underneath my eye right there Y'all know I did do this in the Basic Babe last week. Y'all have no idea how this concealer has literally changed my life. Like, I freaking love it. And I don't know what's going on right here. Y'all see this right here on my skin? I don't know what that is, but we just gonna cover that up with the concealer. <laughs> Let's scoot up a little more. I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out, y'all. Look at how beautiful that just blends out. Like, I low-key don't need any other type of product yeah, I just gotta say, I love this concealer. I feel like it's so skin-like and it just blends out and just makes the skin super like, given what it's supposed to give, you know, on a let's run and go type of day, you know? So even though, you know, that's kind of the vibe, I do still go into my dream BB Fresh cream from Maybelline and I use the SPF one and this is in 140 Deep Sheer Tint. And essentially, I will just put a little bit on each cheek. I'll put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my nose. Then I'll take a foundation brush. This one is from Il Maquillage. And I'll just start to blend this out. And this will just furthermore even out my skin tone, which sometimes I feel like, well, all the time, I feel like I don't necessarily need it, but this is just what i'll do when i'm on the go and running and do a little bit more than what the concealer did it's what i want to do with this and this is the actual makeup i'm wearing today y'all so <laughs> we are really getting ready today to go run some errands now the point of me being in this setting is so that i can show you guys kind of how we're looking without the light so i had my ring light on super super low and now it's off <laughs> and this is how this skin is looking in natural lighting. I have my my window right in front of me. And this is how the skin is looking. So I'm gonna turn my light on just a smidge and we're gonna keep going. So some days I really, uh, I don't even do like the, you know, contour type of situation. But when I do, I have been doing the Tani doll or I will do my Fenty Beauty um, matchstick. But today we're gonna go a little bit into Tani doll just to add a little bit of a cream bronzer type of feel to the cheeks and to um, kind of sculpt out the forehead, bring that deeper shade back into the forehead that I just lost. This routine usually takes me like 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna go into the concealer and I'm also going to be using Tanti Doll. Um, usually I will use like my NARS Radiant Creamy concealer, but I just want a smidge of a lighter concealer today. So I'm gonna just go down the nose with this and this shade is in 420. And I just really am just creating some lighter shadows right now for the look so that I'm not just so flat, flat, you know, just to give us a little bit of interest, a little bit of, she got a little bit of a beat on, you know, but it ain't too, too much. So I'm just blending this out and the sponge that I'm using is my Ofra sponge. I know I love the sponge from Ofra. It's super, super um, soft. I feel like it is comparable to like a beauty blender. Now I usually will go ahead in with like a nose contour because I feel like for me, it really changes up the face and makes me look like I have my makeup on when I do a little bit of a nose contour. So I did just use that deeper Tanti Doll shade to kind of go around my nose and then I'm gonna pat over it just to kind of soften that up. So if I'm just on the go, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't do all the blush and all the stuff like I don't. So we not doing it. <laughs> I'm going into my minted skin silk setting powder and I'm going to use this to set my lighter areas. So I'm just dipping into this powder, put excess on my hand per usual. And I'm gonna just press it into my skin. No baking, just pushing it into that concealer to mattify the situation. 
It's giving what it's supposed to give. I love this powder. I know y'all see what this powder is doing to the skin. It is just an absolutely beautiful finish. Like when I'm out and I'm running errands and stuff, for me, it's all about my base. It's all about how my skin is looking. Yeah, I got this routine down packed so much and it's not funny, but <laughs> I'm trying to just explain and talk while I'm at it. But then I'll take a big fluffy brush and dip into the deeper powder and just kind of push it into the skin to mattify. But I like using the two different colors so that I keep, you know, the difference in shades that I've already created. I feel like I'm not my normal, like goofy self today. I really am not feeling, <laughs> feeling like myself this morning, which is crazy, but. The show must go on, sis, show must go on. Ain't nothing like a good beat to bring you up. <laughs> and a prayer, don't forget that. So I do love to just use this brownie bar. And actually before we move on, turn this off so y'all can see what we're looking like in the natural lighting. So yeah, I'm gonna use this brownie bar and I'm gonna actually use this top brown shade and I'm gonna use this as our bronzer today just to add a little bit of that deeper shade back in. And I'll just go in circular motions on my cheeks to create, you know, a little bit of a bronzed effect. But I'm always making sure that I'm not using too, too much of this because it can overpower real quick and that ain't what I want. In the areas that I feel like I went a little bit too ham, I'll just take the butt of my blender, kind of go over it and it kind of calms it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that same color that I used on the liner and as a bronzer and go underneath my eye right on the corners. And then I will hit it with some mascara and I am using this MAC Magic Extensions mascara. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just finish off with this brownie bar, y'all. I've been loving this. This is actually one of my most favorite products. I'm gonna take this middle shade, which is like a terracotta type of color. And I love this as a little bit of a blush. So if I wanna add just a little bit of color to my cheeks, I love this, especially since it's like that kind of an orange base. I always feel like that looks really, really good on brown skin. And I'm not taking this over my nose. Typically, I'll just, you know, hit it on my cheeks just a little bit, just a smidget. And then the highlighter on this at the bottom, I'm also gonna use. And we're gonna put this where we usually highlight. So on my nose, down my nose, top of the lip. I'll hit my inner tear ducts as well. And then I'll do a little bit of a cheek. Sometimes I'll skip the cheek, but today we are gonna hit it with some cheek. As you can already see, like it's not super, super full coverage. You can kind of still see some, you know, skin coming through, whatever. If that's the case, and I kind of want to cover that up real quick, I do take my Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter foundation, my powder foundation, and I will just go over the areas where I feel like I need some more coverage. And I'll do it kind of lightly just because I'm just adding a little bit of color and coverage, but I don't want it to be too, too much because I do like a lighter look when I'm out running my errands. I feel like this step really kind of makes up for, you know, not doing the full, full, full face of makeup. I'm gonna set my face. I've been using the Minted Better Setter Setting Spray. I've been loving this. So y'all know I'll, if I'm not reaching for this one, I'm usually reaching for my Urban Decay one. And the gloss that is in my bag right now is this NARS gloss, and this is in Deep Realm. And it looks like it's gonna be like an orange shade, but it's not, it's like a clear, honestly. <laughs> and that is our errands look, y'all. Now, I know my I know my errands look is probably a little more extravagant than most. <laughs> but, you know, this is who I am. This is how I like to look when I'm out. And this is the look, this is the vibe. So, I must zoom in so you guys can see how we are looking. And then I'm going to turn off the ring lights so you guys can see how we look in natural lighting and we're gonna wrap this up all right my loves that wraps it up for today's video i hope that you guys really enjoyed it i do know that my energy is a little low today and i hope you guys can forgive me for that uh, but i wanted to just sit down and show you guys my makeup as i'm heading out the house <laughs> and i'm sorry if it was a little bit repetitive if you guys like this video give me a big thumbs up comment below let me know what you liked about it also make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet and i will see you guys on the next video bye